Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing the Mugen Anime Tournament of Power. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, then go check that out. It's really important because obviously we're going to be moving on into our next round where we'll be seeing our next fights of Deku and one of my personal favorites, Edward Elric. So uh, let's just, you know, let's just get right into this battle. Round one, fight! So, like I just said, Edward Elric, one of my favorite uh, favorite anime characters. I'm pretty sure he's my uh, YouTube channel's uh, what do you call it? He's my he's my profile picture. If uh, if you know if you haven't seen it, then you should probably click that. Anyway, uh, Edward Elric right now is actually losing as I you know try to boost him right now. Deku and his one for all powers are just really messing up my guy right here. Holy crap! All right, Elric, come on, do something. You know, I, 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 I might like Elric, Edward Elric, but I also do have a special spot in my uh, heart for Deku. You know, he's, uh, he's a really cool character, I think, and what they're doing with him in the season. Wow, okay, so didn't really commentate the fight, but Deku really just swept that. Round two, fight. I'm going to try to talk about the fight more, try to commentate. I feel like this is going to be a really quick one, even though I like these videos because I get to talk to you guys in like my 2K videos and my what ifs. I'm really just reading off the script or not really reading off like, uh, like stats and stuff. But with these, you know, I just kind of get to commentate, which is nice. Uh, speaking of commentating, Deku is really just kicking Edward Elric's ass. It is really sad to see, but uh, I think it would be pretty realistic. And holy crap, that was... That was over pretty quick. That was one of our fastest fights, I think. Wow. Anyways, in our next fight, we're going to be seeing Escanor uh, from the Seven Daily Sins versus Shinra from Fire Force. So, you know, without further ado, let's uh, let's hop right into this one. Round one, fight. Out of the gates, Escanor coming out strong, throwing some of his sun. What are they? What are they called? Like I was going to call them sun balls, but that kind of sounds mad. Uh, so we'll just call them fireballs, just because, I mean, that's kind of what they are. Anyway, Escanor, like I said, is coming out strong. Shinra's not able to do much here. I'm hoping he does, because um, I feel like Fire Force is a very underrated anime. Uh, so, you know, I'm really hoping he can represent right now. But uh, actually, doing some damage there. Uh, but like, you know, like they say, Escanor is the king, so he's going to go... Uh, it's going to be hard for him to go down without a fight. And right now, it's a pretty even fight. You know, both are roughly about at the uh, their halfway mark in terms of their health bar. Escanor throwing in the fireball there, but uh, if Escanor keeps doing this, I feel like this is going to be wraps for Shinra. Hopefully, we get to see something cool out of him, like a special move. We got to saw that last time when he faced the Luffy. Uh, spoiler alert: if you uh, haven't seen that fight, but holy crap, yeah, um, Escanor is just going to end that really quickly in a matter of a couple seconds. Round two. Fight. In this second match here, we're hoping to see something better from Shinra. He, you know, he had a couple good combos in that first fight, but you know, we want to see something else. Kicking him with a fire kick there, but oh, and stopping him from using his uh, attack. Wow, that was a nice move from Shinra, actually. Get uh, get a lot of damage on him, but Escanor is just gonna clap back really quickly. And you know, okay, Shinra using the same move again. It was cool the first time, not so much the second does do a lot of damage though, so I mean, whatever floats your toboggan. Escanor, wow, Escanor is really on the ropes here. I'm really happy that Shinra is doing something here. Maybe we can get a nice two wins from Shinra, or Escanor is just gonna, you know, take half his health. That wasn't actually half, but you know, it was a decent amount in a single hit. The fight, a lot closer now, actually. Uh, we're seeing Shinra use some of the same moves, but that's okay. You know, if you're Life depends on it, then you might as well be a button masher. Uh, if, he, if Shinra can get, you know, one more nice combo in, then I think that's uh, GG, but looks like, you know, Escanor the King not falling too easily, and it might be wraps for Shinra. Yep, there it is. Ah, damn it. And the final four of the, uh, I guess the left side of the bracket has officially been set. Uh, but with that, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff really helps out the channel, motivates me to keep going. I feel like I repeat myself a lot, but, you know, it's true, it really does. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.